Hey, this is Scott again with Go-Kart Masters Academy. Uh, sometimes buying a go-kart online can be quite difficult, uh, trying to figure out if your cart is gonna fit your kid uh, that you have. And so we have uh, a few of our kids that we're gonna show you today that are gonna jump in some, a couple of these carts and give you an idea. This, hey, this video is sponsored by, well, us, gokartmasters.com. Hey, I wanna take just, just a quick moment and show you some aftermarket parts that you can buy uh, for your go-karts. Uh, starting off with light bar kits. We sell aftermarket light bar kits for uh, our Trailmaster mid a series go-karts and our 200 series and 300 series go-karts as well as these light bars in the back here this one shines blue I mean, we can get them in shining red and orange i believe and maybe in another color uh, something as well is these upgraded steering wheels now the steering wheel and the light bar on top here uh, they come standard on our 200 xrx series go-karts as well as your upgraded rims here and uh, so the rims the uh, light bar up front there and the steering wheel comes standard uh, but if you have a older style go-kart or you have an s model uh, you can purchase those parts online at gokartmasters.com and uh, spice your cart up a little bit uh, something as well is we have aftermarket air filter systems and those come with a chrome uh, intake manifold or intake pipe there and as well we have uh, aftermarket exhaust systems and aftermarket uh, weights for our clutches and uh, aftermarket uh, carburetors now we have a uh, bigger jet carburetors that come that come stock uh, that doesn't come stock on uh, your go-karts but we sell aftermarket big jet carburetors uh, as well something that you might not think of is these sprockets here for the 150s and also I believe for the mid go-karts as well if we put an aftermarket carburetor with big jets and intake and exhaust it's really going to boost the performance of our engine and then if we put a variator kit or a weight kit uh, in our clutch as long as well with the upgraded sprocket it's really going to boost the torque of our transmission there and give us a lot more torque for being able to climb hills and uh, being able to go off road more and so check us out online gokartmasters.com uh, some of these parts you can only get from us uh, we we manufacture some of these parts and make some of these parts and so check us out online gokartmasters.com is a mini xrx model go-kart and uh, this, it's gonna be the same frame size inside of the cart as a Mini XRS. They're gonna be both the same. And so here today we have Ezekiel. Ezekiel is 43 inches tall. He is four years old. And he's gonna go ahead and get in the cart and show us how he fits in the cart. Go ahead, get him. And as you can see with the seat all the way back, he's not able to touch the pedals yet. But if we do move the seat all the way forward, uh, Ezekiel, where he is at now, he is able to reach the pedals. And if he was just a little bit shorter, we could move the pedals forward and give him um, and make it fit a little bit better for him. So Ezekiel being four years old, this is a perfect starting point uh, for him in the mini uh, series go-karts. All right, next up we have Seth. Seth is 50 inches tall. He is also six years old, and he's gonna get in the mini go-kart here and show how that he fits in the go-kart. Go ahead, bud. All right, being that he is six years old, and again, he is 50 inches tall, uh, he can ride this cart pretty comfortably. Uh, this is, his knees are starting to bend on here, uh, which is a good thing, and he probably still has another couple years where he can comfortably ride this mini go-kart. All, right. All right, go ahead. All right, Lily here, uh, she is our next candidate. She's been playing in the snows while she uh, is a little bit wet today, uh, but she is 57 inches tall. She is 10 years old, and we're gonna show you how uh, Lily fits in our mini size go-kart. Go ahead, get in. Yep. She fits in the go-kart, she can ride this around, uh, but she is at the limit of being able to comfortably ride this cart on a regular basis. She doesn't have any more growing room, and so she has maxed this cart out. All right, here is Ezekiel, and we're gonna put him in the our mid model here and see how he fits in the mid model. Go ahead and jump in, bud. Yep. 
and sit all the way back. And as you can see here uh, with Ezekiel, again, he is 43 inches tall, four years old, and he is not able to touch the pedals. So he still has to do a good bit of growing uh, for him to be able to ride this, to drive this mid go-kart. All right, again, we're going to show Seth getting in this mid-size go-kart. And again, our mid-size go-karts, uh, the mid-S, it's going to be a complete different frame than this. Kind of an old-style old style go-kart with just the frame and the engine. Roughly the same size kid can get in both go-karts. Uh, so again, Seth is 50 inches tall. He is six years old. And he's going to get in the mid-go-kart here and show you how he fits. All right, he is in the mid, and his feet are touching the pedals pretty comfortably as well. And so he can comfortably ride this go-kart, and he has many years where he can grow into this go-kart, uh, ride it now comfortably, and he can grow into it and ride it for many years down the road. All right, jump out. All right, again, here we are with our mid-size go-kart. Again, Lily is 59 inches tall, I believe, 57 inches tall. I believe Lily's 57 inches tall, and uh, again, she is 10 years old, and we're going to show you how she fits in the mid-size go-kart. And so she fits in here comfortably. Uh, her legs are just a little short for reaching the pedals, uh, but we can move the seat up pretty good on this one here, very comfortably. This is a good starting point here for uh, a 10-year-old. And so she's able to fit here comfortably, and still, she's got a couple years to grow into this cart. All right, again, Lily is uh, 10 years old. She's 57 inches tall, and we're going to see how she fits in the uh, 200 series go-karts. Glad to see that. So she, her uh, butt is pretty far forward on the seat. Her toes are barely touching the uh, pedals. Uh, she would be able to drive this go-kart, but it would be just out of her reach to be able to drive it comfortably on a regular basis. Uh, but she does have a lot of growing room. Again, this side, this right here is a size for a full-size adult or a little bit bigger of a teen. And uh, it's very comfortably with two adults in here as well or a uh, bigger child. Hey, thank you guys for watching our video here on our size comparison. We hope this really helps when trying to pick out a go-kart for your child. We know sometimes uh, that can be very difficult when purchasing something online, uh, but please feel free to reach out to us if you have any other questions about different carts or the ones that we have in stock here, uh, ones we have on our website. Uh, we re Again, we really hope this helps out. And uh, don't forget, we have a one-year warranty on all of our go-karts sold online. Uh, this is something that just go-kart masters, uh, we do, and we give that guarantee for all of our go-karts or anything that's sold on our uh, website there uh, as far as go-karts or new units. Also, give this video a thumbs up and a like. Please subscribe to our channels. And uh, we plan on putting out many more videos, uh, how-to videos on, on aftermarket parts or uh, maintaining your car to repair or troubleshooting. And uh, we just want to uh, help you to get back to fun and to stay uh, having fun with your family uh, with your Trailmaster go-kart.